Welcome back to Fast Break Sports. Today we got Tyler back in the store. Ty, how you doing? Doing great. Thanks doing for having me again, You Tim. bet, man. Last time was a lot of fun. Today he's got Steph Curry. So how many uh, Steph Curry cards we got? We have seven Steph Curry cards, only two of which I had graded that I bought raw off eBay and graded. Um, mm -hmm. There are two P excuse me, three PSA cards, Tim. They're all PSA 10s. And then we've got four BGS. Excellent. So, well, let's get into it, man. Let's Great. look at the first one. So we've got a couple of Panini Revolution Sunburst uh, from 2015 and 2018. And they're both Gem Mint tin. I just really like the design on those, Tim. Uh, they kind of pop. They're kind of like almost a refractor look. They're each numbered out of 75. Um, I think I've got a couple hundred bucks in each of them. Uh, when I say a couple, probably 300. Um, and, and there's, I mean, with, with the way the year he's having yet again, uh, they're holding their water could get even more than that right now, but I'll probably hold on to those for now. Nice. This is one that I probably will be moving. And, and part of what, what I'm doing here today is I'm moving part of my collection to, yeah. um, uh, I I've decided to sell off probably about a third of what I've accumulated over the last couple years. Um, just recoup some of that cash flow and, um, invested in different different ways, uh, but this is a uh, from downtown, which is fitting for Steph. It's a this one was at a Panini Studio, but the from downtown is a case hit, as probably a lot of you know, and uh, just kind of a pretty card. You got to get the lighting right, but it's a Jim Mint tin also. Nice. I purchased that again. All the PSA stuff I didn't have graded. I purchased it off eBay, and I have fifteen hundred in it. And according to one of the apps that I use called Cardbase, which kind of uh, updates with eBay, yeah. it says 3,200 was the last sale. Nice. So if I could gross 3,200 back out, you know, nine percent commission or so out of that from sending it to Probstein, uh, then I will still just about double my money on that summer. So I figured nice. good time to move it, even though it's it's a nice car. So that was a case hit, you said. Which I think the print run on that is under a hundred. Under hundred is what I've been told, and on on Jim Mint tens, there's five or six hanging out around there. So there's only been I think two sold in the last year year plus, and one of them was mine, and the yeah. other one ended up going for double what mine did. So been a little bit of a pullback in cards recently. So maybe this one lands in the middle, but I should still see a thousand dollar profit, and if. If you're making money, then that's good, right? That's right. Just like the stock market, man. Don't look back. That's it, baby. Okay. The next two I did have graded. I purchased these raw. Had them graded by a company called Grade These Cards. Nathan Nichols. He uh, lives right by BGS, so you send it to him, and he can walk it over. Uh, can can get pretty good service there. But uh, this is a 2013-14 Select Prisms Blue, numbered out of 49. Again, it's a color match to the jersey of the Warriors. Quad nine fives, pretty pretty. It's perfect. Car, car yeah. there. The match is perfect. Yep, so yep. Now I've got, uh, I bought that one raw, and I've got probably nine hundred in it with the grading fee, and I'm showing the last sale was only in the mid six hundreds. Mm-hmm. However, um, it was the lowest nine five you could get for my research. So it was. Um, Three nine fives and a nine. Mm -hmm. This is quad nine fives. For yeah. what that's worth, I don't know if it's three hundred dollars. I'll probably hold on to this one because I'm not going to sell it at a loss. I right. think long term it'll be fine. Yeah, true nine five though. All subs nine five. Yep. Very cool. Yep. Yes. And then this one is uh, fifteen sixteen Panini Prism Silver. Um, I don't. I guess I don't really get it. Still the silvers. Uh, there's a lot of them, but they're just high in high demand. And so they still go for, for good money. This is a 9.5, but 9 on surface. Um, pretty neat looking card there. Uh, only a couple hundred dollar card. Probably will move it. Yeah. Uh, but but neat, neat looking card. And then probably my favorite two Stephs I purchased um, already graded. One is out of Spectra 2018-19. It's a gold and gold prism. So it's out of 10, number 6 out of 10. It's a 9.5 with 9 corners. Neat looking design, cool looking card there. Incredibly thick, and the you know the corners are the nine, which on a card that thick, I mean y'all can't see it, but I mean this thing is a beefy boy. 
tough to get yeah the spectra and in any of those thicker cards it's hard mm. to get gems on those so so I, nice. I just bought that in a gym and i, I spent 787 i don't mm -hmm. know why yeah. how i remember that number, but it was 787 with shipping on that sucker um and there hasn't been any sold since i bought it yeah because i mean it's numbered out of 10, 10. so mm -hmm. i don't know if i'll move that or or, or not uh when i when i go to fedex here in, in a little bit uh, if you're watching though and you want it, uh, I guess look for it on eBay. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, and then we've got a 1920 Panini's op, uh, Panini Contenders Optic ticket autograph, and that's a nine on both the card and the autograph. The autograph's a little bit smeared, but it's in that blue ink, and this is a, a blue. I should have mentioned that blue prism out of 20. Mm -hmm. uh, two nine fives on center and in corners. The most important subs nine on edges and eight five surface so it's a it's a definitely a, a i guess a mid nine um but again it's a little bit of a thicker card also probably had surface flaws right out of the pack and even that smudge on the on the autograph i've got 1200 in it i won the the auction about uh 10 months ago i was surprised it only went for 1200 mm -hmm. uh there hasn't been another one of this card sold but comps of it uh, a curry numbered out of 20 auto nine are in the two grand range right now yeah. uh, after the the last year he's had coming back from injury and and these i purchased when he was out injured because uh, you know people weren't giving him any love again and uh or as much i should say so figured it was a good time to snatch some of them up so who knows these might all these might all be going tim and then yeah could, well could get back in later. you said the autograph smudged i don't see i don't see it really it's, i mean just barely maybe but i mean maybe if, it's if uh it comes uh, off it comes, comes off name. and that's probably that's, more what yeah. it is yeah yep. but anyway i don't know yep. why it got a nine travis showed me this card before we started filming and i wondered why in the world it yeah. got a nine autograph because it's nice and yeah. it's it, you know the the ticket that's the biggest for the rookies yeah um but you know it's not much in terms of eye appeal for him he's just shooting so mm -hmm. i mean but so I'll, I'll be selling that one i think today and and turn a little profit on it so well that wraps it up that's the last steph curry card so you're going to be moving all these except maybe one sending them off to ebay so yeah. if you saw anything here you might hop on ebay in the next there few days go. and you might see these babies for sale so yeah and i might awesome. i might keep one of those too so yeah. but a lot of them are going awesome well Thanks for coming by. A like and a subscription would be very much appreciated. Ty, catch you next time, bud. Thanks, Tim.